There's a question that uh, I'm trying to answer with this video, and that is how to determine uh, whether there's a trend. Now, I'm taking it to a, a simple, simplified uh, method. And first of all, you want to uh, go to a larger time frame. And you want to find the trend on larger time frame, the day or the four hour. I, I prefer to find the trends on the four hour. For this example, I'm going to use the four hour as the larger time frame. Now, so what we're seeing is a, this is a momentum indicator that we have showing on the chart. And I've gone to where you first see the momentum change from one color to another, from going up to going down. That's just a heads up. That's not uh, for sure that that is going to be a trend, but that's a heads up. Now, we've marked another one. Uh, now, we're looking back in history, and we can see these form. But let's go to a smaller time frame to time the entry. And we'll go to these two spots and uh, see what we're, we're going to find. On the four hour, this is where the four hour said potentially things were going to be changing. Red and blue arrows, you see, these are uh, called Norwood alerts. And uh, that's another heads up. But you can see anything that you can see in the alert is uh, visually, manually as well. Uh, so you look at the point where there's more than this indicator uh, included in the alert. But this is a confirmation. When, you, uh, when all the criteria is met, and this is the visual part you can see when it, this uh, indicator goes below that zero line on the momentum, that's the heads up that there's possibly a good trade right there. And so we're seeing it started here. There's a potential here, but it was on the wrong side. It was still going up momentum wise. And when it came back down, that's your signal. You're trading the direction of the trend of that larger time frame. Uh, for example, before you even saw a slowdown, this could have easily uh, given you 100 pips. Okay, then it went sideways again for a while. And so you're out of the market, but the four hour, let's go back over here to the, the four hour. See the four hour now we're right in this area is still showing down momentum, even though it's going sideways. So we wait until there's a, a good signal when it crosses again below the zero line. And there's another normal alert right here. That was the entry signal. The alert just helps to bring it to your attention when you're not looking at the computer. So there was a, another 100 pip move. Yes, it did go 130, 40, but I'm just saying you could easily probably get out 100 pips out of that uh, before you started seeing the slowdown. Now let's go back to the 4 hour. We're down to this point right now. So we've taken some pips out of this on a 30 minute and some pips out of this on a 30 minute. Now, the re we recognize that trend. That's the question we're trying to address is when we first saw, saw that change colors. So there's one more little move down here. So but let's just go over here and see what it looks like when we uh, see it going back up the other direction. Okay, this is what it looked like on the four hour. So as soon as this changed colors and shows there was momentum going up, that's heads up to go look at the smaller time frame. So we can go to the 30 minute. We did only have to wait a short period of time on this one. Uh, this one we uh, received a signal that it was, uh, what, a half an hour later. And then, of course, there was a, another move there for 75 pips. Now, this is not a major trend, but 70 pips on a, a small trade is, is pretty good. You notice that the then it fell off, did some consolidation, and when it pops back up above the zero line again, there's another little trade. This one went in a total of 20 pips, so you could have easily taken out about 10 pips out of that. So you wait until it goes back up again. Here's another little trade. This one is another uh, 10 pip trade. You see a few of those. Now when it's uh, not a, this is more of a retracement on a four hour, having had a larger down move, this is a retracement. But you're seeing there are a few little trades you can get in here. And the more that these lines, these moving averages are turning sideways, then you're not finding as many good uh, trades. So the point is go to a larger time frame. Find when the momentum is going in a certain direction, and then time your entry going on a shorter time frame. Hope this was of help to you in learning how to find a trend and how to trade a trend.